Little Miss is 14 months old. Look at those ears. Look at your ears. Come on in. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Guys, Little Miss is 14 months old. She is a big freaking girl. Like, literally sitting next to each other. You're always yawning in the intro. She's as big as me. Every single video, y'all are just like, how? How is she so big? What the heck happened? And I don't know. How do you keep so big? But she's still a lap dog. That's for sure. And honestly, that's the way I like it. Look at you. <laughs> But hello and welcome to Freya's 14 month pup date. Or in case you're new here, it's basically our <laughs> day in the life of my Australian Shepherd vlogs that we've been doing every month since she was three months old. So welcome to her 14 month vlog. Today is a very rainy, gloomy day. It's been just downpouring all morning. So she actually has already had breakfast and we haven't been on a walk yet, but it is no longer raining. It has stopped raining. So I thought that we should take advantage of this and go on our morning walk. I'm still gonna bring treats and stuff like that because I always, always, always do but I always just bring her kibble as her treats at least on walks and stuff like that I'm just not gonna bring her full cup and a half of her breakfast portion because she's already in breakfast We've already had like a lazy morning I've been getting work done at the computer and stuff But I do have the day off and I don't really have that much work to do So I thought we might as well, you know, vlog her 14 month pup date today What I'm thinking the plan is for today is go on our little walk right now I might walk down to the coffee shop that's in our neighborhood and get a coffee Even though I have all of the materials to make a coffee here I just like getting coffee and then that way little miss can also get a little pup cup get some whipped cream you guys can't see her but she's staring at me and then i was thinking about going down to trek mainly just to bring her by the shop to go see griffin and everybody there but she does get really really excited when we go there so that'll be fun to show y'all i think in one of our previous videos i posted a like unedited trip to the pet store kind of thing and kind of showed you her excitement <laughs> Sometimes when she knows we're going places, she'll ring the bells because she's like, oh, we're leaving? Like, let's go. You better not forget about me. <laughs> and I think she knows that we're going somewhere. But in that vlog where I was just like showing you guys how she is and she is really excited and stuff like that, a lot of y'all were, one, really thankful that I posted it because it shows that Frey is not perfect, which I have always tried to say because she's not. But it is really good to see when you see such a well-trained dog, like she's not perfect. And we have good days, we have bad days, we have things that we've still been working on since day one, like her jumping on people and her pulling and stuff. And I do appreciate all of y'all like recommendations or tips and stuff like that as well I've definitely taken some of them and I'm gonna start using some of them and others to each their own like just don't work for me and Freya or like with my training style which is you know again to each their own but to give you guys some reassurance even since that last video she has not gotten like significantly better we have been training on it and we train all the time on it it's just something that is Freya's like biggest point of like contention I don't even know if that's the right word for it but she's just an excited little puppy she is so happy to see people and I love that about her and that is some of her personality and I don't want to train out the personality. I just want to train out her controlling herself and just knowing when to like be excited and like when she needs to, you know, take it back a notch. And that's just going to take a little bit longer because as I've always, always, always said, the fastest way to train your dog to do anything is with consistency. So if from day one, we were like, heck no on any kind of hyperness and, you know, jumping and blah, 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 she, we wouldn't have issues with that. However, we have not been consistent mainly because we do let her like jump on us sometimes at home because like we don't mind and it's cute and whatever, but because we're not consistent with it and we are like okay in these circumstances you can in these circumstances you can't it's going to take her a longer time to relearn it because she has to be able to differentiate stuff like that and it just is going to take longer and we're okay with that because again i don't want to train out her personality i love how she is at home i love how she is with us and how excited she is with us and like you know my mom and griffin's mom and stuff like that but i just got to work on it with strangers and like greeting people and we have been working on it but she will not be perfect when we go into trek today but we're still working on it and that's okay slow progress is better than no progress but i'm probably going to go straight from freya's walk to the Trek store, but I'm gonna use this little bag today. Normally I use her other treat pouch, which I got off of Amazon, but this is another bag that I use that's cuter. So this is what I would use when it's going with an outfit like this, where I kinda wanna look cute today and I don't wanna look like I'm carrying around a dog bag. This is the one that I use. I have another one as well, but it's purple, so it doesn't really match this outfit, and that's why I like this plain black one. But it is specifically a dog bag. The brand itself is called Coco Pup London. I'll link the bag down below. There's actually a discount code too that you can use, and I think it's like a really good Prada dupe. I talk about this bag all the time so I'm sorry if I'm a broken record but I'm in love with this thing I think it's really really cute super useful it literally holds poo bags on the side here like very discreet really cute outfit style dog bag so we're gonna use this today since I actually made an effort to look decent and presentable today <laughs> you absolutely do not need to do this 
for this bag because again it's made for dog treats and stuff like that very easily cleanable however because I'm not wearing jeans today very girl thing is girls never get pockets we never get big enough pockets for our stuff so I will be putting like my phone and my keys in this purse as well so I really don't want them to like mix with my dog food but if you're just using it for like dog treats you don't have to do this but I'm putting the treats into a little ziploc baggie that'll just be able to separate from like my phone sitting in here it's not cold enough to need like a winter jacket but I do need a rain jacket in case it starts sprinkling but I'm hoping Griffin didn't take his with him this morning because I want to wear it. We got lucky folks. Usually he'll bring his black one with him and then I get to wear this blue one, which you know still gets the job done and it's fine, but it's not cute. It doesn't match my outfits and I would much rather have a black rain jacket. But I know when I show up to the shop in this, he's literally going to be like, why do you have my jacket on? <laughs> I know I could very well get my own, but I haven't yet. Dog walking, oh, OTD. This jacket is from Bontrager. It's like a truck branded biking jacket. Again, bag is Cocoa Pup London. This sweater is somebody else's, not mine. Leggings are from Fabletics. And these little boots I got from TJ Maxx for like 12 bucks. And they're like little rain boot, but like Chelsea style. Love them. And in case you're wondering, this is not like dog content at all, but whatever. This necklace is custom. Griffin got it made for me. And then my headband is from Target. Now the hard question is, what do we want to wear today, Freya? I have my OOTD, but what is your OOTD? Do you want to wear the pink one? You look good in peaches. Let's do green, huh? I think this would be really cute today. You haven't worn this one in forever. We have chosen. all over the counter and tries to like jump through their window because you can walk up to this window to get coffee from outside which is nice when you have a dog but yeah she usually jumps up there she jumped up once and i did my uh-uh and she hasn't jumped up since here you go oh yeah that's a good pup cup <laughs> i hate how loud rain jackets are because i feel like this is just a lot. So Freya got her morning pup cup coffee and I got my morning coffee, but I already transferred it into another cup. One, because this one's cuter and two, because I don't have to worry about spilling this one. And I think the most important part is because I never drink hot coffees. And so I never get to use like my tumblers that I have for hot coffees. I only drink cold coffees or iced coffees and stuff. So I wanted to take my opportunity to use this cute cup while I can. Sorry, this dog vlog is giving off very much main channel vibes and I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll stick to dog content for the rest of the day. Next stop, the shop, to go see Dado and everybody else that's there. Good girl. You stay. I gotta pull this out from underneath your bum. Thank you. Quick. Mm -mm -mm. Good girl. Good girl. I 
literally got the cutest picture ever while we were in there because I don't know why I completely forgot I got this original picture back when she was like four months old or something and the store manager was moving the sign for it and it hit me and I was like oh I have a picture of Freya like that when she was a baby and I need to take the updated one so please take a look at these side by side and cry with me because she is the cutest freaking thing ever she used to be the tiniest little tiny bean and now she's big like what happened to my little miss oh. I think it's the cutest thing ever and I completely forgot this picture existed and I'm so happy that I remembered that and took this after oh how freaking cute next up on our list of Freya's day is to hit up the dog park either for one a walk along like the path and stuff or to you know play at the dog park all depends on if there's dogs there and if she has anybody to play with otherwise we'll go on the walk haven't really decided yet but we're gonna see if anybody's there to begin with and see what we can do huh bub <laughs> we didn't make it to the dog park I did sit in my car for like 10 minutes waiting for the rain to like stop or even if it was just a sprinkle I still would have went there was no dogs there anyway so I was just gonna take her on like the mile or two like path walk kind of thing but yeah the rain did not stop and I wasn't feeling walking in the rain but I think that brings up a really good point because we do have a high energy dog who's actually <laughs> sleeping on the couch right now but it is about dinner time anyway so I thought I would give you guys a little hack of mine that if we can't get free outside to like go play or get some of her like running energy out kind of thing like on rainy days what we do in that situation which is really to utilize like the mental stimulation because that'll tire her out way quicker than physical stimulation anyways or like physical exhaustion so we just want to make sure we're like hitting those and I try to hit both each day but you know days like this happen where you know she can't get out and like run at least she did get to like hang out and like walk around the shop kind of thing which is like a new place to well not new she goes often but an exciting place to get to go to but I've done this hack a few times really only when it's raining and I really like it and I think it's a good one and it's it's really really easy so I'm gonna share it with you guys <laughs> she knows she's gonna get fed look at her what are you doing she's just like peeking over this pillow she's like mm, I heard you I know you got into the food closet okay so we have her dinner. She just hopped into her bed because she knows she's gonna get fed. But this is the hack and it's really super freaking easy. To make mealtime more enjoyable for it to last longer, to like stimulate them and everything, and to hone in on a dog's like natural sense of smell and to kind of like forage for stuff, we basically play hide and seek with her food. Let me show you what I mean. First off, she's already chilling in her bed like she should be, but I'm essentially gonna take this whole thing of food, which is her, you know, normal mealtime amount, and I'm just gonna take a handful. Well, one, I'm gonna put it up here just in case she tries to steal it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a handful and while she chills there and waits I'm just gonna hide pieces of food around the house in different places and some of them will be very very obvious like I put some like right here but other ones you can get like really really creative and hide hide so I put some in here oh one fell on the floor that's okay hi kitty <laughs> again obvious but still kind of hidden like you can put them near like the legs of things uh -uh. bed Good girl lay down yes stay but it can get harder and harder and sometimes I like sprinkle them all up in her like her toy bin and stuff because they kind of sink to the bottom and she has to like really dig in there and get them all out but that is what I'm gonna do with all of this food and I'm just gonna like hide them in random places and like hard places sprinkle them in with just random things we have this tower of boxes we need to throw away but hide some right there and like in here, this is like Kitty's little thing, but put some in there. You guys get the gist. You can hide them underneath the rugs, you can put them underneath pillows, you can really, really, really hide them. But if you're doing it for the first time, I would put them in really open spots. And if you're really gonna hide them all over the place, like remember where you put them. <laughs> Not that it's the worst thing in the world to hide like dry kibble random places, forget about it, but I personally don't wanna like sit on the couch and then be like, why is there dog food in here? Because Frey never found it and I forgot it was in there. So try to remember where you hide it, but go crazy. I'm gonna finish hiding it all and then I'll kind of show you guys like her little scavenge all. all right little miss are you ready we have tritos hiding everywhere and you gotta find them paul if you can do that good girl ready break first one easy <laughs> where else we got it she missed some right here she always knows i put some in her crate Oh, but she already smells the ones in her toy bin. You're getting in there, bubs. <laughs> Where are we off to next? <laughs> she found it inside, but there's also some up top. Let's see if she'll notice those. Nope. Easy pile there. 
but there's also some in the blanket underneath the flap and under this pillow. But see, this is where it tires them out because you do hide some easy ones, but then next to some harder ones, and she's just gonna sniff, 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 and work her brain and try to find all these Tritos. She's leaving the room too early. There's another easy pile. There we go, good girl. There we go. I put some inside my slipper. <laughs> good girl, you found them. Oh. There's some right up on this stool. Is she gonna find them? She found the easy pile over there. She keeps finding the easy ones because she's searching on the ground, not the ones that are higher up. And at least for this first little search, she also missed a pile right there. <gasps> on this first little search, I try not to help her. I just, sometimes I don't even watch her. I'm just like following her around for you guys, but <laughs> I don't really help her until she's done. And then I go through and see what she's missed. And then I kind of like help her find the rest of it if she needs it. But also the fun part about this is that she never knows when she's done. <laughs> So she'll keep looking, which is what kind of tires her out. But if you do train it, you can train them to be like, all done, and that way you have like a command to let them know that they're done so they don't have to keep searching forever. We don't really do that because she'll just give up <laughs> at the end. But if your dog is one of those, like they're not gonna give up, then you might want to introduce like a command where they are all done so they don't drive themselves crazy trying to find more when there is none. <laughs> okay, okay. There's some in the bathroom, but she didn't go in there. But we're starting a second loop out here. <laughs> She smells it. Oh, oh, there we go. Good girl. <laughs> oh, we found them in that basket too. There we go. I was about to say, she usually climbs in. <laughs> She's like, I need those Cheritos. Look at her. <laughs> also, one thing that you could do, another little hack while she's, you know, searching in there. If you have boxes like we do, you can fill the boxes with food and have them have to like stick their head in the box and put like tissue paper or paper towels or paper towel rolls or whatever. You could get really creative with, you know, boxes that you have. We've never done that before, but it is something that I want to try. But tonight we're just doing the good old fashioned scavenger hunt. <laughs> Moving on from the bin. Is she gonna find the, there we go. Good girl. There we go. <laughs> I just love seeing her little snoot and brain work, but we do have some right here behind this pillow, if she'll see that. I usually hide them in there, which is why she's looking. <laughs> There's some on top of, there we go, on top of dad's chair. <laughs> Good girl. But we have some underneath this pillow. I don't think you guys can see that. Right there. Oh, okay, there we go. Right there. And I already told you guys, but there's some underneath this flap. I left one hanging out so she would find it. Did you see me point? Did I give it away? <laughs> there we go, good girl. <laughs> yes, good girl. This would be better if I had a GoPro to put on her. She keeps going back to the bin. <laughs> She's like, I know there's more in here. Seeing this, this will keep her busy for like 30 minutes, thinking that there's still food in there. <laughs> You haven't found them all. Right there. Look right there. Right here. Yeah, good girl. Right there. Look. Oh yeah, good girl. Okay, come in. There's more. There's more. Oh, is she gonna find this one on her own? Up, up. There we go. Yes. Good girl. Look at that. Pretty sure this one's the last one, bubs. Let's see, I'm just gonna stay here. Do you smell it? There we go. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. All done. That's it. We found it all. Yes. And with me helping her on the last few bits, still took us 30 minutes. It is 5.33, we started at five o'clock actually. Like this will take all day depending on how easy or hard you make it and how good and smart your dog is. But as you can see, like some of the spots were still too hard for Freya because we've only done this a few times, but the more they do it, the harder you can make it and it'll just be super fun. And it's one of our little hacks to make meal times last longer and be more engaging when it's like raining outside. And even now she's still sniffing for more. Like she's gonna be just like checking out and smelling and sleuthing for more food, which keeps her brain working and just, I don't know, keeps her engaged. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend. We currently have the sleepiest baby. Oh, I woke her up, <laughs> but she's been sleeping 
under my desk for the past like two hours because I was working at my computer. But then I got up and she usually follows me and she did not. So just a little mental game for dinner really took her out for at least two hours and probably for the rest of the night. She might have like a little, she usually gets hyper whenever Griffin gets home for like 20 minutes and then knocks back out. <laughs> But I'm starting to make dinner, which is just mac and cheese tonight. Nothing exciting at all. I have no idea when Griffin is getting home, but hopefully soon. It is now another hour after I last spoke to y'all. Griffin's still not home, which is fine. But Little Miss is still laying underneath my desk. You are one sleepy baby. Just the sleepiest of babies. You too sleepy. <laughs> it is 8 30 and I have to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning for work So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed her little 14 month pup date hanging out a little bit I cannot wait for this month's Q&A because usually we do a Q&A with these pup dates But that's coming in a separate video if you're not following Freya on Instagram That's where I'll be you know asking you guys for all the questions for the Q&A So make sure you follow her there because that will be posted Probably soon, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye